So let's talk about remote management and server manager. Now I have a server here. It's a domain controller and it's part of a domain with another uh, server that's running as a DC. And you can see here I'm running Active Directory Users and Computers or Active Directory Directory Ser Domain Directory Services. There we go. Active Directory Domain Services. Whew. Got it. DNS file services. But notice I only have one server running each of these roles. Well, my server manager is actually only managing one server, so one total server, one server group. Now, server manager will allow you to manage multiple servers. Um, in order for that to happen, we need to have remote management enabled, and it's enabled by default. So if we go to configure this local server, you'll see remote management automatically enabled by default. So what we'll do, if we haven't turned that off, I want to add an additional server to be managed by the server manager. So I'm going to go to manage and then add servers. And active directory, test group, I want to try to find all of my servers. And I see test server 1, the one that I'm on now, and test server 2. So I'm going to add test server 2 in and hit OK. Now before I do this, so I'm part of active directory so I can see uh, everything inside Active Directory. I can also look for things by IP address or computer name using DNS or import from a file if I have a file with a list of uh, servers in it. So this is probably the easiest way unless you've got a whole bunch of them and then doing an import from a file might make sense. So I'm going to hit OK and that's going to start searching here and now you see I have two servers total that we're looking for and now I have two of them running ADDS right here two servers DNS I have one one local server all servers total I have two if I click on all servers it'll show me events and services for whichever server I have selected here so server 1 I have 45 total events click on server 2 now it's showing me events 37 total and services and best practices analyzer and performance information and well you get the idea so now I'm managing two separate servers and my dashboard will give me a quick overview of all of them now if I get a bunch of services or a bunch of servers I might want to group them a little bit differently so I can group them by geography or department or whatever. So I do that by going to manage create server group and I'm going to create a server group called Yakima because that's where I'm at. So I'm going to add servers and I can add them from my server pool which is servers I'm already managing or from Active Directory or from DNS or from um, a file list that I'm importing. So I'm going to do my server pool and I'm going to take test uh, server 2 and test server 1 and I'm going to add both of them to my Yakima group and hit OK. And now I have a group named Yakima and in Yakima I have those specific servers. And I can create as many groups as I want and it's just a quick easy way for me to be able to look at a group of servers very quickly um, without having to go and hunt for them. So back to my dashboard and that's how we can remotely manage multiple servers using Server Manager.